What is it that you normally pray for? When you fast, it's because you want something. When you fast, hey, I will take three days. I will be eating in the evening. Even in the evening when you are eating, you eat the food of the breakfast, the lunch. <laughs> I mean, what kind of fasting is that? You, you, you are going for supper, <laughs> but you also need the breakfast, the tea, and the lunch here. Look here. What kind of fasting is this? This shows that, you know, we don't know our rights. And here on the other side, to show that you don't know, you are fasting for what you have been given. Even Jesus, I want to tell you about our Lord Jesus Christ. He never prayed to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's after when he was filled, the Holy Spirit take him to the desert. Jesus never fasted when he's not empty, when he's not full. When he was filled with the Holy Spirit, is then Holy Spirit, take me to the fasting prayer. Yourself, you are going for fasting prayer and you're, you're empty. We need to go to do what? To know his promises. The promises of God will make us to fight our battles in the right way. Because when now we know God has promised us this, we'll understand that what we are going through is what? Are there to make you not know, to reach them. So you won't concentrate on that. Let me show you. Stand here, my brother. Here. Look here. If this man, face me, if this man is there to disturb me and I'm supposed to go there, are you hearing me? Can you act like you're talking? So I will just carry on going where I'm going. Let him talk. I will carry on going where I'm going. But if I don't know where I'm going, let him talk. Talk. Where are you, where are you going? I will where attend going? him. And what he will be telling me here is a delay to where I'm going. So you must know that there are promises and don't delay yourself. Because if you entertain people who have to take your attention, they will give you a direction. Many of you today, you are the result of what you had. The way you are now, the decision you have taken is because of what you had. Why do you worry about these things here? These are stumbling blocks. Can you believe in the promises of God? Yes. Huh? Yes. Remember, the debt you are heavy, the challenges at work, whatever you are going through, are there to nullify what God has promised. So don't look on them. Know the promises, write them down. You tell yourself, okay, the Bible says this. It won't be so as easy as you think because devil wants to make sure you don't reach there. Moses could not reach to Canaan because of what? People. So now if you know where you're going, forget people. Forget what they're saying. Don't entertain. Focus where you're going. God will take you there. You must know today that many victory you will get, they are coming from your response. In other words, the victory that you'll get will be suiting the response you've given. If you want to find yourself, I mean, in a stagnation, respond negatively. But if you want to see yourself going where you're going, check your response. There are things you don't need to respond. You just need to hold on to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because of where you are seeing. If you believe God more to where he's taking you, are you hearing me? automatically you can be entrusted the more with what God wants to give you. Lift up your hands today and ask God to give you grace, to give you grace to access his promises. Prayer by faith. Pray. Access his promises. Lord, give me grace. Of, give me grace. I don't want to be a failure. Open my understanding to access.